After months of spectacular explosions and failed attempts, SpaceX has finally done it. The so-called Starship explosion curse appears to be broken. But here's the thing. While SpaceX celebrates this breakthrough, China is quietly preparing their own lunar mission for 2030. The question isn't whether America can return to the moon anymore. It's whether we can get there first. And the clock is ticking. Let me paint you a picture of what just happened. SpaceX President Gwynne Shotwell recently made a bold statement that should make every space enthusiast sit up and take notice. She said, and I quote, This is a race not to repeat what has been done, but to do much more. Don't bet against American innovation. She said this right after Starship's 10th flight, a flight that changed everything. For the first time in months, both stages of this massive rocket splashed down nearly intact. We're talking about the biggest and heaviest rocket ever built here, folks. This isn't just another test flight. This is the vehicle NASA is betting everything on for America's first crewed lunar return since Apollo. NASA's acting administrator Sean Duffy couldn't contain his excitement. He took to social media writing that this success paves the way for the Starship human landing system that will bring American astronauts back to the moon on Artemis 3. But then he said something even more. In 2027, we will return American astronauts to the moon. We won yesterday's space race. We'll win today's space race against China. Now, you might be wondering, is 2027 realistic? Duffy thinks so. After meeting with SpaceX executives recently, he shared something interesting with a group of social media influencers. The executives told him, if there's a holdup for Artemis 3, it's not gonna be them. That's confidence right there. But let's talk about what actually happened during this breakthrough flight. The Super Heavy booster executed a controlled return to a designated area off the coast. Picture this. It hovered just above the water before splashing down, testing an alternate engine configuration for its landing burn. Meanwhile, Starship completed several key objectives that had been eluding previous flights. The spacecraft opened its payload bay door and deployed eight Starlink mass simulators using what SpaceX calls a PEZ dispenser-style mechanism. Its re-entry was on target and onboard cameras captured the final maneuver as the vehicle gently settled into the ocean. It wasn't perfect, one of the Super Heavy's 33 Raptor engines shut down during ascent and early in re-entry part of the Starship's aft skirt appeared to break apart. One of its flaps also showed visible damage. But here's the key point, neither issue affected the re-entry or final landing sequence. This success helped silence critics who suggested that Starship suffers from fundamental engineering flaws. The conversation has shifted. The question isn't whether Starship can avoid exploding anymore. It's whether its development timeline can avoid exploding. Here's where things get complicated. Starship may be back on track, but it's still behind schedule. The string of earlier failures has set the program back significantly. SpaceX had originally hoped to complete many of the objectives from this recent flight earlier this year. Realistically, the program is now at least six months behind its original target. Some analysts are calling the 2027 target for Artemis 3 ambitious, even overly optimistic. And they might have a point. While SpaceX has repeatedly proven its ability to solve complex technical challenges, the scale and number of remaining hurdles are unlike anything the company has tackled before. Let me explain why this is so challenging. NASA identified a significant weakness in SpaceX's original proposal due to its complicated concept of operations. This complexity includes an unprecedented launch cadence and synchronized operations to enable in-space refueling, something that's never been attempted before. Without in-orbit refueling, Starship can only reach low Earth orbit. To travel to more distant destinations like the Moon or Mars, its tanks must first be refilled with liquid oxygen and liquid methane delivered via multiple additional Starship launches. NASA projected that between 6 and 10 cryogenic propellant transfers would be needed to fill Starship's tanks for a moon mission. But here is where it gets even more complex. In April 2024, following the third Starship Super Heavy flight, NASA officials said they expected the first ship-to-ship -ship transfer to occur sometime in 2025. This demonstration requires placing one Starship in orbit and launching another to dock with it for the actual refueling process. However, recent delays make it highly unlikely that this milestone will be achieved in 2025. 
NASA's Lori Glaze acknowledged this slippage at a July 25th meeting, saying the key milestone that we are watching for is when they will be able to demonstrate cryogenic propulsion transfer. We were anticipating that it would be completed by this year. Clearly, that is slipping. Before Artemis 3 can launch, SpaceX must demonstrate that its Starship human landing system can both land on the moon and lift off again. Initially, NASA's contract only required an uncrewed lunar landing. However, that requirement has since been revised. The updated mandate now includes a launch from the moon's surface as part of the uncrewed demo. Under the revised terms, SpaceX must complete an uncrewed demonstration mission where Starship lands on the moon, operates on the surface for a minimum of two hours, transmits data back to Earth, then critically must relight its Raptor engines and launch back off the lunar surface. NASA officially amended the human landing system contract in December 2023 to include this additional milestone. Notably, this requirement doesn't come with additional funding. The pace of operations needed to support Artemis 3 would be nothing short of historic. It appears to demand a faster operational tempo than even Falcon 9, SpaceX's far smaller and much more mature rocket, has achieved after more than a decade of regular flights. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room, China. While America grapples with these technical challenges, China has laid out an ambitious vision that includes building a permanent lunar base and ultimately sending humans to Mars, all anchored by a first crewed lunar mission in 2030. Recent successful tests of their Chang'e lunar lander and the Long March 10 rocket have fueled speculation that China may attempt a crewed moon landing even sooner than announced. Given China's consistent and almost unbroken track record of meeting space milestones on schedule, their claims can't be easily dismissed. There's a real possibility that China could land astronauts on the moon before NASA does with Artemis 3. While it might not be a geopolitical catastrophe, it would deliver a significant psychological blow to American leadership in space. The space race of the last century cemented US technological leadership for more than 70 years. It fueled scientific breakthroughs, industrial dominance, and laid the foundation for America's sustained economic advantage. With a multi-trillion dollar annual space economy on the horizon, the stakes are undeniably high. Right now, NASA's Artemis program lacks a mechanism for objective public oversight. There's no reliable way to assess its status from outside the agency. NASA may need to establish a truly independent review team immediately, tasked with delivering an honest, transparent assessment to the acting administrator, the president and Congress. If a plan B is going to be necessary, planning must begin now. We can't say for certain that the winner of this 21st century space race will enjoy the same level of economic supremacy as the last one, but why risk finding out by losing? The recent Starship success is encouraging, but it's just the beginning. SpaceX still faces unprecedented challenges in orbital refueling, rapid launch cadence, and proving their system can safely transport humans to the lunar surface and back. The 2027 timeline is ambitious, perhaps overly so. But here's what we know about SpaceX. They've consistently defied expectations and solved problems that seemed impossible. The question is whether they can do it fast enough to beat China to the moon. The next few years will be absolutely crucial and the world will be watching every launch, every test and every milestone. The space race is back and this time the stakes couldn't be higher.